What's up, collectors? Welcome back to Films by Color. I just got back from Barnes & Noble where I shot another sale haul video. This one was not planned. This was kind of a last minute thing. I wasn't planning on going back to this store. I actually went to the Cumberland store, which I already visited with Evan a few videos back. And I wasn't planning on going back to this store, but I met up with a new friend named Alejandro, who is from Van Watches Movies on TikTok. Go check out his account because he's got an awesome account over there all about movies. And he reached out to me because he just moved to the area and he wanted to check out the Criterion selection at this store. And I said, sure, let's go. I'm, I'm down to look at Criterion again. So we met up briefly at the store and did some Criterion hunting together. I didn't record too much, but I did get a little video of him talking about the picks that he chose. So let's go ahead and jump into the in-store footage. What's up guys? I'm here with a new friend. He is, uh, what's your name on TikTok specifically? Alejandro X Padilla. I do go by Van. Yes. Van Watches Movies is your TikTok? Van Watches Movies is my account name, yes. Okay. Check out Van Watches Movies. He's got a way bigger account than me. But uh, yeah, we, we just, you just reached out. Thanks for reaching out. I did, yeah. I saw your uh, page. You just had a bunch of stuff organized by color, so I just thought that was cool. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're just here at the Cumberland store again, checking out some Criterions. And this guy knows a lot. How long have you been into Criterion? Uh, probably since I was like 14 or 15, I want to say. Like sci-fi stuff really interested me, so I just saw Solaris, obviously, like I mentioned, and yeah, yeah. just kind of got into it. Yeah, we've been talking already for like 10 minutes. I should have been recording, but uh, but yeah, he knows a ton about Criterion. I've only been in it for a couple years now, but but he's uh, he's, t he's telling me about all this stuff that he's picking up. He picked up three already, which we got. Yeah, uh, Baby Linden, Stanley Kubrick, I love him. Tim Popo, been wanting to pick this up for a while, and then kind of a blind buy. Symbio Psycho Taxi Plasm, <laughs> yeah. which you mentioned a friend of yours also got. Yeah, John and, uh, just picked that one up in the last video just based on the name and the crazy description on the back. Yeah, two movies that just look very interesting to me and I can't wait to watch this. One's from the 60s and one's from 2005, so. And you said you've already seen Tempopo? I've not seen Tempopo. Barry Lyndon, I've seen. Tempopo's been on my list forever, though. Okay. I just like ramen, and that's one that I was like, I need to watch this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that it, so it sounds super interesting. I haven't seen it either. I should maybe pick it up. Do they have two? They do have two. I think they had two. Yeah, they had two right there. I talked to my wife about this one. Every time she sees that on the channel, for some reason she thinks it says shampoo. It looks like shampoo. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, maybe I should grab that one too. Hey, it's a yellow, nice yellow spine. Nice yellow spine for your uh, collection, but that could go yellow or red. Kind of make it shine out a little bit. That's true. See? He understands it. <laughs> for all you guys hating on me in the comments. <laughs> Have you seen? You said you've seen New World. I've seen New World. You Funny enough, seen though, Andre being yet. such a huge fan of Andre Tarkovsky, I've not seen Andre Rublev. You haven't seen the one that's named. That's like the one movie I've not seen of his. Yeah. Okay. A friend of mine uh, who's been on the channel, Connor, has uh, recommended this one to me specifically. So. I think I gotta pick it up. It's a beautiful digipack, which I don't have. And then another digipack that I'm thinking about getting is New World, which you said is great. I love it, yeah. Terrence Malick in general is such a surreal style of filmmaking. Yeah. This is one that's been on my list forever because you're a room with a view. Yeah, John told me about this one last time. The uh, cover for it reminds me of that poster for uh, Before Sunrise. Exactly. Not the like the not like yes. the, the Criterion Collection, but like the original poster where that's you can see them like sitting. Yeah, that's like, so he told me about this in the last store and I was like, the, the cover's giving me Before Sunrise vibes. He's like, no, not really. <laughs> it's nothing like <laughs> it that. It totally is. But the cover looks like it, for sure. You need to like insert the poster right next to where you're showing it to, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just so you get an idea. Do a side-by-side. -side. I did a side-by-side -side on the last video with him because he looks just like the guy from, uh, the dad from Inside Out. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so I like, did a little PNG of the dad peeking in. I wonder if the dad changes it all for the second movie. Are they doing a sequel? Yeah. <sighs> Stop I don't know what sequels, be coming out man. With the strike happening, but yeah, they're doing a second movie. How how do you feel about that? Are you the strike? No, about well, oh, we a could, sequel. We could talk about that for. Do you think Pixar needs to? Chill I think they sequels? need to slow down. I think that their sequels are good, but like yeah. Cars two, Cars three, <laughs> not it. Even the first Cars is barely it. Like I do not like Cars for yeah. some reason, but yeah, I think they're really at their best when they're doing original content. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I'm watching through all the Pixar shorts right now with my kids, and all the the like the shorts that are just like Toy Story. Yeah, how, they like, feel so out of place. Yeah. Like there, uh, there was an up short before Elemental. I don't know if you went and saw that, but 
Oh yeah, that was felt out of place. Just I was like, come on, read the room. We don't want to see him. <laughs> yeah, the, I want to see him with Ellie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the original that would be cool if they did like a flashback short. But um, but yeah, the the original shorts are so much better. The original shorts from like the early two thousands that would play before like I had them all on VHS too, so they would always play before. Yeah, and so that was just something to see. Now you have to like go to the special features and you have to click on short. <laughs> well, they did put out like some Blu rays that are yeah, like, that just have like the shorts on them. Yeah, which is pretty cool. I need to get those too. But yeah, if you guys are uh, looking for more, come back to the Cumberland. They restocked. Since I was here with Evan, it's it's way more full. So I'm definitely gonna be coming back at some point this coming week too. Stuff. Well, thanks for coming. Thanks yeah, for no meeting up with me. Super nice to meet got you, our man. Titles here. Yeah, we're gonna head out. We gotta go find your girlfriend. She's probably waiting for you. But, uh, <laughs> he makes it sound like I was like looking for a girlfriend. Like I'm looking no, for my girlfriend. No, he, already, <laughs> he already has one, and uh, she loves Criterion too. She can't wait. To she does. She's been dying to see Tempo, though. So we're gonna check this out tonight. Hopefully. <laughs> Awesome. All right, I'm back at home. That was a lot of fun. Alejandro seemed like a really cool dude. We did talk more than you saw there in the video. We talked a little bit more before I started recording. I didn't want to be annoying and hold the camera in his face right as we were meeting for the first time. Also, his girlfriend was there and uh, they had to get going, so I didn't want to hold them up. But I did get a little bit of footage there of him talking about his picks, and now I'm going to talk about the new picks that I picked up. A few of these have popped up in the previous four videos from this month. Uh, a lot of these are recommended by friends of mine that you've seen on the channel, so I'm excited to finally have these. This first one was just recommended to me by John in the last sale hall video we did, sale hall number four. It is the James Ivory film, A Room with a View. This is based on the E.M. Forster novel. I believe it's just a straightforward romantic drama, but John highly recommended it, and he says me and Grace will really enjoy this one. It also has a very, very young Helena Bonham Carter. I don't know if you can even tell who that is. I couldn't tell. She's apparently 19 in this film, so that's definitely the youngest I've ever seen from her. This is from 1986, coming in at 117 minutes. It also stars Julian Sands and Daniel Day-Lewis, so let me know if you've seen A Room with a View and what you think of that one. This next one I think I pick up at every single Barnes & Noble sale, but I've never pulled the trigger on it, and I finally did. It is Terrence Malick's The New World. This one always jumps out at me on the shelf. It's got a beautiful... Uh, deluxe digipack nice edition that uh, I really love. I love the art on the front. I love the whole presentation of this one, but I have never seen this film. I've only seen one Terrence Malick film, and that is Badlands, which I was not a huge fan of. It didn't do a lot for me, and I think that has kind of deterred me from checking out more of Malick's films right away, but I have heard from John and now today also from Alejandro that Badlands is not really indicative of the rest of Malick's filmography, and it is his later films like this one where he starts to get a little bit more surreal with his filmmaking, which sounds much more interesting to me, so I do think I will enjoy this one a lot more. I do also have The Tree of Life back there on the shelf. Uh, which Alejandro said is probably his most accessible film. Uh, so maybe I'll start with Tree of Life, or maybe I'll start with The New World, now that I own that. It is a story that I am actually interested in, and I have I hate to say the only film adaptation I've ever seen of this story is the Disney version, which uh, I was not a big fan of either. So I'm hoping this version can really win me over on that, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to check that one out. Glad to finally have that one on the shelf uh, after looking at it for so many sales. And this last one I picked up also has a lovely looking digipack. It is Andre Rublev, directed by Andre Tarkovsky. This one comes highly, highly recommended from my very good friend and close friend of the channel, Connor. He recently watched this film and fell in love with it. I think he gave it five stars on Letterboxd. Uh, and I think he watched it again, like just a couple weeks later, uh, because he really loves this film. So hopefully I also enjoy this one. I've seen three Tarkovsky films so far. I've seen Solaris, Stalker, and Mir. Of those three, Stalker is definitely my favorite. I really, really adored that one. Uh, but who knows, maybe this one will uh, take its place as my favorite Tarkovsky film. It seems like it could be one of those situations where it feels like the film was just made for me, kind of like uh, Skolomowski's Deep End or Summer's Tale or My Night at Mods or anything else Eric Romer has ever made. Tarkovsky's surreal, dreamlike filmmaking style is already interesting to me, and this one specifically is described on the back as a meditation on art, faith, 
and endurance, which are all things that are very interesting to me personally. I grew up in a religious household and religious history is something that still fascinates me to this day. And not just religious history, but also art history. I went to art school. That's where I met Grace. We both met at the Art Institute of Atlanta. And at least for our major, I don't know about the other majors, but at least for our major, you did have to take four classes of art history, uh, which I was fascinated by and kind of fell in love with. So I'm looking forward to both the art history aspect and the religious aspects of this film. I hope it all comes together for me. It is a bit of a long one. I think it's three hours, 183 minutes. It's right at three hours. But as long as I'm invested in a film, length is not usually an issue for me. I mean, I watched all three of the Lord of the Rings extended editions in one day with my brother one time, uh, and that was 11 hours. So I think I can make it through three hours as long as I'm engaged in the story. So I'm really excited to check that one out. Hopefully I can get to it soon. And those are my three picks from this trip. Once again, thank you so much to Alejandro from Van Watches Movies for reaching out because I never would have made it back to this store and found these ones if it wasn't for you. And thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this short little sale haul video. Please continue to share your thoughts in the comments down below because I love talking to you guys down there. And I will be back with more Criterion content real soon.